What's up everybody, it's Daniel back at it again and today I wanted to talk about how to find long tail keywords that you could try and rank your videos for or your web pages for and kind of just how to use the AdWords system in general for keyword research. So I know a lot of you might be in the Amazon course and in order to find keywords for Amazon uh, Tanner just has you go into different things like merchant keywords or the Amazon keyword tool and you basically just go in there and you know it gives you a bunch of options for keywords so the cool thing about Google is it actually tells you the uh, projected monthly searches with no cost so it just tells you it for free and you can just make a Google AdWords account with any Gmail email so you basically just go up here and you sign in make an account whatever you have to do and you can go up to this tab up here into tools and then you can click keyword planner and it'll bring you right here so basically there's three different options here there's search for keywords using a phrase and this basically allows you to type in a keyword that you know you wanna find the search volume for and it'll give you a massive list of like you know 700,000 different keyword phrases that are very similar and related to that and kind of helps you you know come up with new ideas or new keywords for you know PPC campaigns or for you know specific niche videos or web pages that you want to build out and then you also get search volume and data trends for just one so you can just type in one keyword and find it there and this is kind of the same thing where you can do a new keyword and get combinations for different keywords that have to do with it so what I like to do is actually just go into this and this might look confusing at first but don't worry about any of it other than up here and we're just gonna type in a keyword so let's say you know I wanna make a YouTube video and I wanna make a YouTube video about I don't know Instagram followers so I actually made a video about this the other day and I actually did this process so this will kinda of be a good example for me to go through you with but let's just say I wanted to do a video about Instagram followers so I could just type in Instagram followers here and this is basically gonna plug it into the Google system and give me the feedback for monthly searches so as you can see here average monthly searches for this keyword or this keyword phrase is 1.5 million which is absolutely insane you're obviously never going to rank for that and if we want we could actually just pull this up right here so we could just go Instagram followers and so this right here is all the top these four right here are actually paid Google Ads but down here Instagram followers Instagram followers these are all like the top ranked pages for this keyword so these are getting like massive traffic if this is a 1.5 million monthly search keyword and this right here the competition you don't need to pay attention to that unless you're trying to run a Google ad for it basically that's just the competition for uh, paid so you know the competition for these top four right here so you don't have to worry about that if you're trying to organically rank but it'll probably be pretty low anyways if you're doing something very niche specific or long tail and if you don't know what a long tail keyword is it's basically like you know instead of Instagram followers so if we go here average monthly searches and flip it around let it load so these are all like the lowest ranked ones so a long tail keyword would be something like alright so I searched through a little bit and I found a couple of examples so right here it says buy 100 real Instagram followers now this isn't like the longest tailed keyword but it is pretty specific so buy 100 real Instagram followers is the phrase it has 90 average searches a month and the competition is obviously really high because there's probably a lot of uh, you know apps or different things where you can buy followers that are paying to be advertised for this keyword phrase but if you were trying to rank for something organically you know all of these keywords guys like just look for something very specific basically so you know it's like how to get followers on Instagram in the month of May or how to get followers on Instagram for a car page like basically there are so many 
super specific keywords you could find on here. There's 700 of them, and you can actually export this list. You can download it onto a uh, Excel file, a CSV, and you can just sort it on there if you don't feel like scrolling through this. But you know, just look at the average monthly searches. Find something very, very, very specific, and the more specific you go, the easier it will be to probably rank for it. And that's just kind of a good way to gauge how you should uh, title and optimize your videos or your web pages for keywords. So, you know, if you're just targeting this keyword right here, Instagram followers with your new Instagram uh, YouTube video or web page, you're probably never going to rank on here, guys. So you're not really helping to grow at all, you know. But if you rank for more Instagram follower like just because I forgot an S, I don't know, like just different types of long tail keywords that you can rank for. You could rank for this way easier than you could rank for this. So basically you'll just be getting uh, high ranked on the Google search platform and you'll be at the very top for any people that search that term rather than being you know, on the 70th page for people that search this term. So you'll get a lot more clicks, a lot more engagement, and these people will be a lot more high quality because they'll be coming in on a keyword that's just very, very, very specific. So you know if you have how to grow Instagram followers for an automotive page and that has 100 searches a month and you rank on the first page, all of those people that click on your link are going to be looking for exactly what you have. You know, if you rank on this page, which you never will, but just in a hypothetical sense, if you do, you'll get a lot of clicks, obviously, but all these people are just going for a broad term of Instagram followers. You know, think of it like a pay-per-click campaign. You know, it's just the more specific you are, the higher quality of leads or people are going to be coming to your site and they're going to be looking for exactly what you have if it's super specific. So just keep that in mind when you're making online content. You want to optimize it for long tail keywords and this tool is just a really good uh, tool to use to help you find you know, the search volume for different things and also just to help you find new ideas. You know, you wouldn't think of any of these, but Google just gives them to you for free with their monthly search on it. So, And beyond just organic, you can obviously run paid for it. You can search or sort by competition or sort by uh, suggested bid. So this is a cost per click bid. And if you do Amazon, it's the exact same thing, but it's just the Google ad will just be words. You know, so when you look down here, it's just words, obviously no pictures but you know the possibilities are pretty much endless and this is just a very good tool with tons of information for you to use especially if you're going into affiliate marketing this is huge I know I'm gonna be utilizing this and for my YouTube page trying to rank videos so hopefully this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions or want me to go over something further with you I can I'm not an expert at this but I do have pretty good experience in using Google AdWords so Again, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to me. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.